I am absolutely pleased to announce to everybody. First of all, I forgot to welcome you. Welcome and uh, click that subscribe button if you want to see more content. No, we don't. Um, as we are uploading daily, I figured I would do a video on my brand new skid loader. Let's just reveal it, okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's a skid loader. Caterpillar actually gave me this for free. No, I'm just joking. I actually messaged them and asked if they would sponsor me and they said, F off, little boy. They said, get the f out, you little stupid idiot. <laughs> They're very polite though. This is my brand new skid loader, and I actually am proud to announce that I own this and the bank. It's a co co. So you don't own the bank? No, 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 no. I I own the bank, but the bank owns it. It's hard to explain, dude. Wait, it has high flow? Okay, did they get the wrong one actually? Because I did not get high flow. Yeah, it's a high flow. It's got a bunch of other features too. I, I did not order a high flow. That's an extra fifty grand. But you know what's fifty grand? I've never gotten a brand new piece of equipment other than my eight hundred thousand dollar Caterpillar sixty ninety two D three bulldozer, my excavator, my two skid steers, two. Caterpillar dump trucks that my dad bought me Thursday. But this is, you know, this is cool. The bucket is black, like it should be. It's yep. like fresh paint. Open it up. It has a dog. <laughs> Charge for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Stop, dude. I'm busy right now. Is this it? Go, go, go. Um, is this call it. Was two fifty? Oh, there's a little thank you sign. Who the hell got boots that big? They got Shaq buying up this big. <laughs> oh, it's got the little sticky notes on everything. This product can expose you to chemicals, including lead and lead compounds, which are known in the state of California to cause cancer. Well, good thing we're not in California. Does it only cause cancer in California? It Why was. is this I think the only thing that causes cancer in California is like a poisonous government allowing the citizens to rob and kill each other without any repercussions. I've never owned my own skid seer except for the last one that I owned. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> insignificant. That was a John Deere, which I am so glad I got rid of because um, no particular reason at all. I just said that. What do you mean? <laughs> Equipment people are like, yeah, those suck. It was actually decent. I think I just did way too much with it. I picked up over the lifting capacity and kind of totaled it. I didn't know even look at this before I bought it. I just literally just called and said I'll buy one and they delivered it. Dude, oh, cool. that is so nice. There's locks on the windows to keep them from vibrating, rattling. It has air conditioning. Oh, it comes with a cat key. That's nice. So what this is, it's a universal key that allows people with the cat key. I can go to any other Caterpillar piece of equipment and start it. So that's really convenient because anybody with this key can come steal my skid loader. We all know how that would end. Let's see what's in the back. Uh, I want to just please start it. I don't want to put unnecessary hours on it. I did not get the high flow option. I'm telling you, dude. I'm actually going to text and ask about that. I think they got the wrong one. This is nice. I'm going to immediately crush that. That is so heavy. That door is like 80 pounds. I said, which steer did you get? He said the exact one you quoted. 120K or 150K? Let me make sure the air filter's not dirty. I don't think it would be, Cody. I think this is a brand new machine, honestly. And it's going to stay this clean because nobody else is allowed to run it. So, what? No? I... Hey, get out! What are you doing in my seat? Sick. Nobody else has sat in this seat except me. Get out. The whole reason I bought a new one is because I was the only one it's, that ever sat. It is the wrong one. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, so these are the, uh... In Krontang and Schrenkelheiter. I don't know, man. Do you need to go to the hospital this for is whatever really bank that gibberish you just whispered out of your mouth? This is only boring if you think it is. If you click on a Whistle Diesel 1000 video expecting anything exciting, you are horribly wrong. My goal with this whole channel is literally experimental to see what people will put up with. So I'm gonna fire this thing up and I'm gonna do something you guys have never seen before. Wow! Such a crisp and clean close. Whoa. Sounds like a blacksmith crafting a sword out of a solid chunk of silver. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, yes. sick it's so clean and precise i've never had a brand new skid here we can never afford that growing up and everything had like ten thousand hours on it this is like actually a really big moment for me that's it for today guys thanks for watching i appreciate it nothing happened. we didn't do anything no i don't want to it's brand new like in the thumbnail just to clickbait this we'll put like an upside down skid here being like trebuchet across alaska and then people Exploding. will probably click on it because yeah. of everybody's low standards they'll probably watch the whole video your fans have low standards no no, no. The not people my that support whistle you diesel 1000 and... has no
no fans, only enemies. Well, Maybe Whistle and Diesel has fans, but Whistle and Diesel 1000, no fans. It's me versus the world. If you watch this video, I feel bad for <laughs> you. I'm gonna donate this to local food charity. Probably. What are they gonna do with this? Well, probably feed people. I don't know, man, but this is gonna be a really cool ornament. Well, no, we gotta use it. I'm not using this. We have yeah, to I'm, use I'm it. I'm not putting trash in my brand new bucket. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, the trash needs to go. It's literally well, overflowing. You, maybe we could carry it by hand or something. So what's cool about this thing, it actually has suspension. Oh. Right here, this suspension. I swear to God, if there's a human on my driveway. Bro decides to just invade the premises. You know what trips my trigger? You know what scratches my itch? What? Look at this. All that dust on there already. It's from driving it onto Brand the new. trailer. <laughs> well, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. I think after they watch this, cut. I think Dude, they're... just cut. That's plenty. We got enough content. I don't... Cut. Cody, cut. this video sucks. Cut! 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 cut. If that's good. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, dude. What do you mean? We're done? This video sucked. Maybe give it a watch. You didn't even take it in the mud yet. Maybe give it. I know, but it's a little dirty. Yeah. Then you call from the bank. Okay. Yep. I'll see you tomorrow. No, I was. I was gonna. Okay, I can run there and make a deposit right away. I didn't realize it was that low. What's a repo? Huh. Hey. <laughs> Cody, it's been months. If you put the trash in my brand new skids here bucket. Just take it out there by hand. No. What if I did it though? Oh, he's reloading. <laughs>
wear or use anything if it's not quality. And I'm tired of half-assed companies making it impossible to differentiate between a cash grab and a quality product. You buy a hoodie at a certain place as your workwear, and that was something they printed 10 million of as a blank, as the cheapest possible version. It shrinks in the dryer, it pills up, it's bad quality, it's not heavyweight fabric. I have spent quite a while making products that aren't half-assed, they're not blanks, it's quality fabric that nobody else is using, doesn't shrink in the dryer, and it's a great cut. So this hat fits great. My hoodie that I built, the hood fits right over the hat, and it's actually made proper for whatever you're doing. If you're hiking, you're hunting, whatever. I'm making apparel to withstand that. I've had people say, oh, your hoodies aren't worth that much. Well, once you buy it, you can tell it is worth that much because the hoodie itself weighs twice what the competitor brand weighs. Monster Max, workwear built right. The grand opening is April 6th. You can text this number. It'll send you updates on when the launch is happening, etc. Look, what? What do you want me to look at? Oh my God. Hey, that's still a good four-wheeler. Don't break it. Oh, <laughs> Cody, this is dumb. Let's just park it for the day. Oh, wow. You can lift it. <laughs> ah! No. That was a good four-wheeler, dude. Ah. No, you're bending. You dumbass. That's a bad idea. That's even worse. I'm gonna have him lift me up and we're gonna test the lifting capacity of it. I think you can lift you. Right? Not like a buff individual like me. This thing only can lift 11,000 pounds. You don't weigh that. I've That's been bulking. Oh wow, it can lift you. Wow. Whoa, Cody, you're so strong. Hey, come down! Ha what, with one arm? Oh, you're losing it, you're losing it, you're losing it. I'm gonna clean out the tracks in my excavator now because it was uh, half a million dollars. So I'll now be doing that in real time for the next six hours. I gotta get this cleaned out and ready for the next dirt harvest. That's not. This is old dirt from last year. I can't sell that. Who's buying? I use this primarily for my worm farm. This is how we raise the worms. It's probably the only footage anybody's ever seen of me taking care of something. There's bean sprouts. Oh, d part of uh, being a man, knowing uh, which hydraulic line to cut. There's a lot of them. So um, I'm just gonna pick a random one and cut it with a knife. Wait, why do we have to cut a hydraulic line? I don't know, I just made that up. But we need to clean this out. Sometimes it takes the buffest, strongest dude to <laughs> clean out all the organics. Yeah, man, don't leave, dude. Okay. I'm almost done, just give me five more hours. Excellent. See, this is the problem with younger generation nowadays. They don't wanna get into the cylindrical firing range of a pinch point in an excavator to lock out tag out that could crush their spine in half and twist their, twist their uh, legs in half just for a buck. Yep. Well, there's fuel in it. See, just as I thought. You're supposed to drain the fuel after every run. Look at all that coming out. See, that's bad fuel now. It's been aged. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. There's why power lines right there. Why do we have a tree with no limbs in the yard? That's a power line. What? That's a high voltage power line. Cody, no! <laughs> See what the new 299 D3 High Flow XP Cody, did. Cat's it's not gonna sponsor you. That just, what? Nope. You see what the all new 2024 Caterpillar 299 D3 XP I saw what it did. High yep, flow. and Cat is not gonna sponsor you, so. Do you see what the all new. Another thing we have to do today as part of my maintenance routine is rebuild this entire Chieftain tank. So that's just part of our normal maintenance routine. This thing has not been running in so long, there's actually weeds growing on it. We're gonna start it any second now, but before that, let's have a quick commercial break. So, Tyler! Oh, what the heck? What? What? It's been sitting for the last time we did the tank video. And it just immediately started. I thought it was going to be cranky, cranky, cranky. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh. So we're going to rev it a little bit. And if it moves in fourth gear, that means that we don't need a whole new gearbox. It's just the clutches. <laughs> Are you gonna hit it? Why the f am I gonna hit the turret? It's in your way. We come back.
like tomorrow the dozer's like four feet settled the into the ground. Pressed through the dirt. <laughs> I was thinking about that though. There's a lot right. of weight on this corner of the property. Say, yeah, like... I do realize that. <laughs> I noticed everything in the shop has been like rolling towards this side. <laughs> there was a 10 foot elevation decrease in Tennessee lately. It's not the gazebo effect because I know like I can feel it. You know what? We should make kids shirts, tanks, excavators, and bulldozers. This is child activities. We should combine all three of these into a giant Decepticon, the tank ozivator. That doesn't roll off the tongue. The bolt excavator. <laughs> My uh, uncle died. He got hit by a bolt excavator. That's like the worst possible way to die. <laughs> My mother Shut built up. those. What's going on over here? Like well, that was a box of my stuff, so. <laughs> Since we don't do like build videos, we're not gonna show you every detail of the progress. This is on the second channel here, but we thought in Utah when this was having a lot of issues, first of all, the starters just wouldn't allow the engines to start, the starters went out. But the axle was having a bunch of problems, so we couldn't accelerate. I would have liked to go 50 miles an hour and rev it up, but we couldn't, so we were stuck in first gear. And everybody's like, oh, it's so slow. Well, the bolts came loose on the drive shaft because they're just normal bolts, because we need to be able to replace the drive shaft fast if something happens. But we thought this pinion was bent, and I was like, that better not bent because the reason I got these giant axles is so, so that nothing Nothing bends or breaks again. I was like, we're gonna have to rebuild a bigger axle. And as a result, up. we're gonna need a bigger truck. I did notice that actually, what else did I notice? I think uh, you need to be replaced. Uh, just, oh, we need a new driver, honestly. I, I think someone- Why, tell me the problem, what's wrong? Someone who doesn't break the truck as often. They didn't do anything. No! Oh, this is one of the starters that went out. That's the, no horse around in my shop. Um, <laughs> this was a, uh, I drove to work every day and started my truck with this. I wish it would have went out one of those days, but no, it goes out when I'm having fun. That's how life is. That's how life is. Is there air in these? No. So why is this? Hold up, Bill, that one does have air in it. Keller, put in Beirut explosion. <laughs> All the people that are saying this is a slow piece of garbage, I don't actually disagree with you right now. I do agree to a certain extent because there's a lot of problems. I think once we fix all this, you guys are gonna swallow your words along with all of each other's. Everybody doubted me. You doubted me when it was a normal pickup truck and now it's this. Now it might not be that much yet because I'm still working out all the issues. But let me just say that I don't see any of you um, doing anything. You know where SpaceX started? A roll of toilet paper. I didn't. They started with investors. No, 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 no. They did not have billions of dollars. It's How do the investors did. get their money? See, I have no investors. I am my own investor. A lot of people want to talk about success. You know, the biggest reason to success is doing f***ing anything, literally at all. I wish I could just reach through the, that little clear lens and grab them by the throat. Cody, you're not motivating anybody. <laughs> no, I am. Because how do you think, listen, space, okay, I said SpaceX started from a roll of toilet paper. He says they had investors with billions of dollars. They did. Where'd the investors start? Did they have investors? Where'd their investors start? That was probably yeah. the worst speech that's, I ever had. It's to fun to hate <laughs> until it's popular to love. No, that's what happens. Keller, cut like this out. <laughs> Some people were making fun of our content on this channel. I think you are mistaken because this is an experimental channel. You see, I can say whatever I want here. I can say whatever you want. So my other channel, yeah, no clickbait ever, but this is always clickbait all the time. I hope you feel motivated from this. Nope, motivated. I actually feel motivated to quit, actually. I am motivated to find the person that did this. Motivation. I think um, this is my, uh, my jet engine prepared for whistling diesel. This engine is going in something else. I think about making a motorcycle out of it. Kind of unsafe. You know, I'm really exhausted. I woke up at noon today. Oh, that's, you must know. have slept good. They did call and say that my, uh, steak dinner at the Bugatti dealership is ready. Oh, I yeah, I haven't eaten in two or three days. Company profits are considerably down at only 500%. I don't think so. <laughs> you want to talk about philosophy for me? I don't, I don't, Cody. <laughs>